202, happy number. Write an algorithm to, to determine if a number n is happy. A happy number is defined by the following process. Starting with any positive integer, replace the number by the sum of the squares of its digits. Repeat that process until the number equals 1, where it will stay, or it loops endlessly in a cycle, which was which is uh, re repeat the process until the number equals 1, where it will stay, or it loops endlessly in a cycle which does not include 1. Those numbers for which this process ends in 1 are happy. Okay, so... How do we determine if something, um, if, if it doesn't end in one? How do we ca catch this loop? Well, the loop could be determined by whether or not we've previously seen that number. Because once we get to the same number twice, then it's over. So we could just have a prev numbers, um, array. First one, uh, the first value will be n. Um, cause that's the first number in this loop. And if we go back to N, then it's, uh, yeah. Um, um, I wonder if there's some way that we could do it faster. Could we use like a map or something? Um, let's see. Um, how about we make a helper function to help us calculate this, uh, thing? We'll say calculate digit square. Okay. Um, now that's going to return a Boolean and we are going to give it a number X. Okay. And we're going to say, let's see if it ends in one, then it's happy. Um, what we can do is we can, um, let's see, so we could do string concat, we could turn it into a string and then just like iterate through those things. Um, or is there a neat way to like divide Okay, we'll just do that. I'm going to say total equals zero for num in map int. Um, so this is going to give us all the digits in it. Um, we actually don't even need to. Eh. What does it say? Total, um, what's it? Int num times, uh, or we could just do num times num. We'll do parentheses just for clarity's sake. Um, then we'll say return total. Okay. Um, prev numbers equals n. We're going to say. While newest, hmm, um, how do we say newest number equals n? While newest number not in, um, not in prev numbers. Then calculate digits squared. Prev numbers, well, we could say prev numbers append n. 
calculate digits square um newest number equals calculate digits squared prev numbers negative one to get the last one if newest number equals one return true and then we could say append actually sorry it'll be append newest number And then we'll say return false because uh, once we once this condition is met the loop ends come on work numbers not defined oh um, X what <laughs> no no what did I do different that's crazy I was, I was, I was half-assing this. <laughs> I didn't expect, I've never seen that in my life. What did I do different than everyone else? How did I do that? What? No, something must have glitched out or something. I don't know. But I'll take that.